Alright guys, we're we'll about to the women figures. guys and welcome back to Winfrey Fitness. Today I just killed some shoulders and I wanted to go ahead and answer a question that somebody dropped down in the comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, they asked me how do I break through plateaus and I was gonna really do a little bit more research and try to get more like uh, technical for you guys but you know I've been through this journey and I'm still going through it and uh, you know, through trial and error, I learned how to break through plateaus myself. So I just kind of wanted to kind of hit y'all with some, I guess you could say bro science. Uh, so when it comes to plateaus, I think the first thing you want to look at is how intense are you training? Uh, a lot of people think that, you know, they can't get through or they're not getting through as far as losing the weight they want to, you know what I'm saying, or trying to gain the muscle they want to. And I think the first thing you want to look at is how intense you're training. Some people think they're training intense enough, maybe you're only training three times a week, four times a week, uh, maybe you're not even super setting, you ain't doing no drops. There's so many different things you could do to change your routine that'll help you break through that plateau. So the first thing I would recommend is changing, you know, your routine now to something more intense. Like for an example, I used to train my chest one time a week. Now I train my chest twice a week. So instead of saying, oh, I need to eat less or you know, I need to do this or do that, you know, up the intensity. That'd be the first thing I say. Anything that you're trying to get through as far as building muscle or losing body fat is change your intensity of your workout. Up it up. Especially if you've been working out for a little while now. Next thing is diet. Um, a lot of people can't break through even though they change up the intensity through their workout, but they're not dropping their calories, they ain't dropping their carbs, you know what I'm saying? Or they're not even counting their calories, especially if you've been eating healthy for a while. I believe that it's time to actually start getting to your macronutrients. And I think it's very beneficial because with that, you'll get to learn your body. You know what I'm saying? Counting those macronutrients, getting in tune to how your body works and how it reacts to a certain amount of carbs, proteins, and fats and be consistent with that. Don't just count it for a week and be like, oh, I know my body. Give yourself time to learn yourself. Oh, make sure I'm not leaving anything out. What do you think, baby? Um, yeah, be consistent. Try harder. And try something new. Yeah. If you uh exactly. if you've never tried the stairmaster, try the stairmaster. Yes. If you've never tried hit cardio, try hit cardio. Look up Google both of those things. Uh, he also has some videos on it. Here, let me get some air time, man. He's got some videos on it, so check those out. Um, huh? One more minute left for my battery runs out. No! <laughs> okay, so anyways, yeah, so be consistent, try something new. And what was the other one? Uh, just changing Work your workout, harder. changing your diet. Work yeah, harder. definitely. One thing, too, uh, that comes with cardio as far as bringing through, breaking through plateaus with cardio, I found for me that if I got away from the traditional cardio, just walking on a treadmill or even just walking on the Stairmaster, throwing things that you like. Like me, I like basketball. Yes, I'm sweet at it. Yes, I can shoot from half court without even jumping. It's just what I do. <laughs> but, you know, throwing in those high intensity type uh, cardio style, which I'm going to introduce to you guys here real soon. But uh, yeah, guys, that's just my take on breaking through plateaus, things that's worked for me. If you have any more questions concerning breaking through plateaus. Google it. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> drop the comments in below. Or if you want to, go ahead and message me through Instagram, Facebook, email, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, and enjoy my last meal of the day. Always remember to take it one, one day, day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time, baby. Una dia a tiempo. I want macaroni and cheese. Oh.